I'm on a mission to build the GameCube collection of my childhood dreams. Ooh, folks, we've got a GameCube section here. Looks like mostly sports stuff, but still kind of exciting. And I'm currently in a U-Haul going from Kentucky to Alabama for a video game convention, stopping at game stores all the way to hunt for GameCube games. I might actually not have Lord of the Rings 2 Towers, but this is a replacement artwork, so I'll go ahead and pass on that. That is not one you see every day. A few more mid-range ones back here. The first stop I went to, Play and Trade, had a decent selection, but nothing that I personally don't have yet. So let's get to the next one. Now, if you guys have been following this series, you know that what's special about this collection is that I haven't paid a single dollar out of pocket for it. It's been entirely funded by the profit from flips that I've found in those same videos. So in this next stop, I'm gonna be looking for both GameCube games and also profitable games to build our budget. So this GameCube section looks like nothing crazy that we never see, but I'm fairly sure that NFL Street I don't have in the collection. And this is widely regarded as an excellent GameCube game. So at 20 bucks, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull the trigger on this. Honestly, didn't know if I'd be able to find a solid flip here, but check this out. 30 bucks for Dragon Ball Raging Blast 2. And on Amazon, 44 after fees. I will take it. Hmm. There's another solid little find there at 15. Definitely do not expect this one. Three bucks on that. Sealed into nine on Amazon. And look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six of them. That's crazy. All right, folks, here we are in the back of the U-Haul. This has basically been my home for the last few days. Not actually, I did, I did get a hotel. But here's the breakdown of what we got. We got seven copies of Racket Sports, which is fantastic, $6 profit a piece. Then we also picked up Madden XX Collector's Edition because on the inside, one of the games is Head Coach 09, which is a $30 game on its own. Pinball Hall of Fame is one that I actually picked up off camera. I, I'm not entirely certain on it, but I'm pretty sure I can squeeze $10 profit out of that 30 and then you guys saw the Dragon Ball Raging Blast 2 15 or so profit on that which is a grand total of $82 in expected profit subtract the 20 from that for this GameCube game and we're still left with $62 in our budget to play with also completely unrelated to the collection or resale also picked up Nintendo Switch Sports because I also secretly love collecting for the Switch and I'm really excited to try this with my wife Erica Mama! Oh, I almost forgot over there. This is actually another $12 profit. A Game Boy Game Shark, which should go for 52 after fees on Amazon. So now that we've got $72 in our GameCube bankroll, what am I actually looking for? Well, faithful viewer, it's a good question because at this point, I've got over 100 GameCube games in the collection. By the way, this is our next stop here, the Great Escape Buy, Sell, Trade. So pretty much anything that I don't have at this point that isn't a sports game, I'm gonna be thrilled with. All right, folks, we have arrived in the video game section. Seems like there's a decent selection here, so I'm excited to dig in. Ooh, this is interesting right here. Spotted it from afar. Cabela's Dangerous Hunts 09. You might say, Caleb, that's a shovelware game. Why are you picking that up? Well, it's sealed. Yep, just as I suspected, folks. $5 and on Amazon, 11 after fees. Which brings our GameCube budget up to a cool $78. Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition at $20 will be another 10 in profit. But late Ladies and gentlemen, where are my GameCube games at? It's saying we have GameCube right here, but I just don't really... Oh no. No, this is their GameCube section right down here. <laughs> well, I guess on the bright side, that makes our decision easier. Look at this, even in the glass case where the more expensive games are, not a single GameCube game to be found, which was about to make me really sad until I spotted Spyro Dawn of the Dragon for 35, which again, disc only, but I think that should be a quick $15 for me in profit. Dang, folks, look at this. The Nanny for $30 complete series. Lowest on Amazon is $84. Aye. So, folks, after these six items here going into our stack, we now have 140 GameCube dollars to spend if we can find a store that actually has GameCube games. So we're heading right now into Bring It Back Games and Collectibles. Let's head in there and see what they have. Look at this um, Batten Kaitos, the GameCube one in here.
think I will go ahead and do uh, this one and these two. All right, so folks, despite a pretty small selection in there, we still managed to come away with not one, but two new GameCube games for the collection. And also, I didn't catch this on camera, but I also got Pokemon Ranger Guardian Signs and Uncharted Golden Abyss on the Vita. Guardian Signs at $22, I know that I can double up on based on what I've sold it for in cartridge only condition. And then Uncharted, I think I should still be able to make like five or 10 bucks on that. Driven for eight bucks is just, it's a complete game that we don't have, so I decided to pick it up. But Bat and Kaitos, I was so excited to find. 60 bucks is not a bad price to find this for complete. And this is one that a lot of you guys were actually saying in the comments, you were disappointed that this wasn't on my list of games I really wanted to find. So I'm actually thrilled to spontaneously pick this up. But after all that, I still have 103 GameCube dollars to spend at the last video game store between me and the Game Jam convention. So on the flip side here, got $10 Freedom Wars on the Vita, which would be an easy 15. Also a complete need for speed, which I should get at least $10 out of. Gonna take a little risk on Fantasy Star Portable. I think that should be at least another 10. Also this complete Ninja Gaiden for 18 is actually pretty good. And six bucks on complete Mario and Sonic is an absolute steal. Oh my gosh, folks. Oh, <laughs> look, 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 look. Oh my goodness, $17. This is a hundred plus dollar Switch game. This is incredible. So now that we pretty much have more GameCube money than I could ever hope to spend, let's turn our gaze to the GameCube section down here and see if they have any gems that I don't have yet. All right, so first thing I noticed, Dragon Ball Z Budokai. It is indeed a complete game. And at a price point of 13 bucks, I don't have this yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on. What else? Kelly Slater. I've actually never played a surfing game. I do love Tony Hawk, so I feel like I maybe should just give this one a shot. Oh, and guys, most of you know the story on this one. If you do, you're banned. That one's for you, Neil. Why would you do this to me? <laughs> and actually, I also love like compilation games like this. Again, it's complete and 10 bucks. We're gonna go ahead and do it. Folks, if that's not a successful game exchange trip, I don't know what is. Hey there, got a solid stack here. There were a couple I was interested in in the case. The Lost Kingdoms 2. Cool. Yeah, I think I will do that. And then there was a Pokemon Conquest in here. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll throw that on the stack as well. Folks, that was a gargantuan, massive last stop. I cannot believe how much stuff I got. I actually went back in there. Hey guys, Editor Riff here. Sorry, it got really windy while Caleb was talking. Basically, he was telling us that he bought some more games off camera. So folks, we are back now in the collection room slash resale office with the mystery games that I bought off camera. By the way, folks, everyone keeps asking me, Caleb, why didn't you take Spanky on the video game road trip? And why wasn't he there at the convention? And blah, blah, blah. Ah, uh, I was sleeping. <laughs> I have to study for seminary finals. I'm an adult, blah, blah. I wanted him there, folks. I tried to, but what are you gonna do? I mean. You could have asked me. So you can't win them all, folks, but we did definitely win at that last game exchange. First game that I picked up off camera was Pokemon Conquest. Got it for 60 bucks. I think I should at least be able to get 90 after fees on Amazon because it's in beautiful condition. Then for 40 bucks, we picked up the cleanest copy of Fortune Street that I have ever seen. This is definitely going up in value. And there was a big range on Amazon on this one. Worst case, I'll make maybe five or 10. Best case, I could double my money. Next game was... <laughs> Next game was Pokemon Battle Revolution on the Wii. Also complete, paid 25 bucks for this, which weirdly enough is the exact price that I paid to Ricky in an earlier video for this very game. Uh, then finally, folks, we've got not one, but two GameCube games. One of them you did see at least partly. The first one is Muppets Party Cruise for $15. Now, as you guys can see, we do already have this guy in the collection, but on Amazon, I should be able to get like 45 or at least double my money after fees, so pretty solid price on that. And last but not least, folks, we were able to spend most of our remaining budget on Lost Kingdoms 2. $155 for this bad boy. Another one, a JRPG, wasn't on my list, but because we did so well with flipping stuff today, I'm able to add this to the collection, which is always great, because this is one that I very rarely ever see.
So folks, despite the fact that we weren't able to come away with any new games from our list, that was an undeniably excellent day of interstate game hunting. If you want to see more, check out the full GameCube Game Bit playlist right down here. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys on the flip.